Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Joe Usual, and today I'm going to show you how I took the original Frontier Class A ship that you get at the very beginning of the game, and I turned it into this big monster juggernaut, 20,000 kilogram hauling warship that can take on the Crimson Fleet up at the Key. I, went, I wiped out their entire fleet and all of their, all of their batteries as a test to make sure I could do it before I went into that quest line. And so guys, this is a monster ship. It is probably top of the line. It may not look top of the line. It looks like a rust bucket, but I guarantee you it has everything you will ever need. And I'm going to give you a walkthrough right now. All right, we're starting up here in the cockpit, which you have, you have two jump seats right here, as well as the pilot seat. And that's gonna give you two crew stations, which is a really nice. And instead of ladders, we have stairs here. This is an amazing thing. Not having to climb up ladders to get to the next level down is super cool. The only thing is there's only there's only two ways out of this play out of this, and that's down these stairs or through here. And the this level and the lower level below me does not have a way through. So you'll have to you'd have to put in a passageway if you wanted to fit you wanted to change that. This is the um, this is the crafting room. And then if we go to the left over here, and these are two by one modules, by the way. Uh, this is going to be the living area right here. There's a bed right there. There's a bed right here. And we are messy sleepers. So there you go. That's why the stuff's on the floor. Um, we do have, I did put portholes in here, which is really nice. So you can look outside. Uh, there was a porthole here, but I lost a bed. So I went ahead and I put that back. I, it, it was really weird. Barrett was sleeping in my bed one night and I couldn't sleep in my bed because he wouldn't get up. So it's strange. Anyway, so I took, got rid of that porthole and actually put a, put a weapon system on the outside there. Over here, we have the uh, science lab. And we, right here, of course, we have the research lab and we have the pharmaceutical lab. And uh, porthole that I added. Portholes are amazing. Um, I only, uh, this also has a weapon system behind it, so I don't have a porthole there. But if we go ahead and we go down, we go out through the cabin here and we go down. Oh, by the way, let me show you the storage. Storage is right here. And the storage is 20,691 pounds. And some of it is shielded. I do have shielded. And I'll talk about where I got all these parts in just a minute when we go down to the shipbuilder. All right. So with 20,000 carry weight. Now, I mind you guys, to get to this point, you're going to have to be at least level 60 to level 70. And you're going to get all the best parts. And you're going to have to have Star Starship Design 4. Obviously, you're going to have to have piloting 4. Starship Design 4. And probably Starship Engineering at least 1, maybe 2. I only have 1. So, actually, I don't need that for any of these parts. So, I think it's just Starship Design. So, yeah. I believe that's all it is. It's going to be Starship Design 4. Piloting 4. Obviously, you're going to need that so you can get this. Um, so, yeah. That's definitely what, what you're going to need. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and take you down to the lower level so you can check it out. This right here is a giant two by three mess hall. I insisted on having this. I want the open space. It gives people a chance to sit down. It also gives me some more, uh, some more passenger carry as well. So I have like two or three more passengers I can carry in here. I will get to that in just a minute. Uh, another port hall here. And then when we open up this right here, this is gonna be the control center. Right here, and this is going to give us a couple more crew stations as well. I think it is four crew stations, so I have six crew stations on this ship. And uh, I think we go back here and through the kitchen. This is where we would go up, and we have a uh, companionway right here, which leads to a um, starboard uh, docking port. So I don't have an upper docking port, a top one, I have a side one. So we are we we actually when we dock with ships in space we dock dock side by side, so uh, so to speak. So anyway, that's how that goes. Let's go ahead and go down below. I will go to the shipbuilder and I'll show you how, where I got all these pieces. The only original piece that is left from the frontier is this landing bay. That's the only thing that's left. Everything else has been replaced, including the uh, the landing gear. The landing gear is uh, it's got a thrust of four. Each one of these does. That's why I can make this ship so short. Um, and let me go ahead and just jump up here right quick. Well, you can actually see it in the ship builder, so it didn't really matter. So that's fine. I'll show you. We're, uh, got anything you need to offload? I need to view and modify my ships, please. Okay, no problem. All right, so, and I've got the sound turned way down, guys. So anyway, now let's go ahead and back this out a little bit. Go to ship builder, back this out. All right, let's, let's go this, through this piece by piece, guys. Uh, this Cabot C4 bridge, the one with the, with the uh, stair, stairs instead of the ladders. 
I got that at New Homestead on Titan in Soul System. Let me show you where that's at real quick. Most of these parts that you're going to see, or a lot, about half this ship, came from the Soul System at New Homestead. They have really good stuff. So let me go ahead and just back this out, and I'll show you exactly where that is at. If you don't know, go to the star map. We're going to back this out. We're at Alpha Centauri right now, and the Soul System is right here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in. And if you go to, if you go to Saturn... You go over here to Titan, Titan's right here. New Homestead is right there. And that is where you want to get all the, or most of these parts. And I'll explain what parts we got where. And so um, I think between everything on the ship, it's between New Homestead, Stroud Eklund, Star Yard, and, my, and the actual landing pad with the ship builder that you get. Uh, those are the three places I, I actually built this ship around. So, you know, I don't think you have to go anywhere else. Maybe Aquila City. Um, but I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. I don't think you have to go to Aquila City. Hey, what can I do for you? All right, so let's go ahead and go view modify my ships, sure. and I'll explain the rest of these pieces. So, I already talked about the bridge. Love it. You get two crew stations with that. Um, and then, on, of course, these right here are your standard two-by-one um, uh, habs, okay? And they go on top. And then, the, by the way, these equipment plates... And these side um, uh, weapon mounts. Horizon weapon mounts come from New Homestead. These weapon plates come from your your landing pad with the ship builder. You can get those there. You can't get these these equipment plates over at New Homestead though. They don't have them. So and so it's like some places will have the Nova bracers. Some places won't have the Nova bracers. Uh, so you got you're gonna have to shop around and and you may you may not be able to if you go control G You can duplicate things Control G. Oh wait if they have them in stock if you don't have they don't have like they don't have they, these guys Don't have the equipment plates in stock, but they do have these halves in stock so I can go control G and I could I can duplicate um, uh, That hab that I was just sitting there or any other piece and you can just pull it off rather than having to go into the the builder you can just go ahead and control, uh, hold down control and then G, and you can just duplicate it and then place it where you want it to be. I don't want that, so I'm going to delete it. So anyway, so the Habs we can get pretty much anywhere because those are Strout, those are Nova Galactic uh, um, Habs. The mess hall we got, this is at Stroud Eklund Star Yard. And then over here, this is also another Nova Galactic um, Hab, two by one. So there's four two by ones. And then this is a three by two uh, mess hall, okay? So that, and, and then this is, this is actually, because this is longer, uh, this gives me a place to put the, uh, I, I, this, I've got the storeroom right here, which I said it was a, a, a companion way, it's not, it's a storeroom, which needs to lead out to the uh, pro docker uh, station, which though, that, that you get at your, at your, star, at your uh, ship builder, once you get to be a high enough level. Like I'm, I'm thinking it's got to be 60 at least. It might be 70. So if you uh, try it at 60, if you're not seeing it, you're gonna have to get to a little higher level. All right. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the uh, the other stuff we got here. So I've got the uh, the 900T HE3 helium tank, and that gives me um, I think it's 800, no 650 grav jump fuel. We we uh, did a test, and from one end of the galaxy to the other. You only need like 300 at the most, 350 at most. You don't need any more than one of these big helium tanks to power your ship unless they do a DLC that's going to require us to go a long distance. You have this is more than enough to do go anywhere in the galaxy. Uh, and then we have the uh, the SF40 sheared flow reactor. I believe that this can be found almost anywhere. Um, also the same with the uh, with the NG340 grab drive. If not, if you can't find it here in, in Alpha Centauri, try, like I said, try the, the, uh, the, the New Homestead and Titan. You may have to go to Aquila City or your, actually, I think your, your um, ship builder has these items. And these are the best items I could find for, to give me the most power, the most everything that I could get, okay? These engines, however, are only found, I've only found them at New Homestead. These are the DT-230 engines, Poseidons. They have an engine thrust. They have a max power of four, and they have an engine thrust of 34,520. They give the most amount of power, but you're only allowed to have three of them, okay? You can't have any more. 
Normally you can have four engines. This is the one instance where you can only have three. And so you're going to have, and they, oh, and also they only connect side to side. Okay. On the right and the left, they don't connect to the front. They don't connect to the, the bottom. They don't connect to the top, only side to side, which is hence why I have a Nova bracer right here. So you're going to have to get creative with your connecting. Um, and that's also why I have this guy here, wait, it was, no, this guy here, because this has got connectors on the, on the left and the right. And that's what's holding this engine in place. It's only being held by this one little, this little piece right here. And these guys are only being held on by this Nova bracer. So, but it works and that's, and that's all that counts. Um, these cargos, the S, uh, 204 cargo holds are hold, um, 1480 a piece. And I got as many of them as I could on there while still being nominal. By the way, my mobility is only at 50, but you know what, with the guns I have, it does not matter. Okay. And I'm going to get into those guns in a minute. Your mobility is fine at 50. Okay. If you're worried about your mobility, if you go down below that, it'll say you're not optimal. Really. If you have the guns, you don't have to be mobile. Okay. And so you, you need thrusters, you, and that is piloting one, so you're going to need that. But um, you definitely want your piloting all the way up if you're already in a Class C ship. But what happens is, by the way, that gets me back to my other point. When it turns a Class A to a Class B or to a Class C is going to be the, um, is going to be the, um, the grav drive and the reactor. Okay, You replace those, you make those Class B or Class C, and that makes this ship a Class B or Class C ship. That's what makes a, a ship a Class C. It might only be one of these, but I think it's two. I think it's both. It might only be one. It might only be the reactor. But the thing is, you have to use the parts for the class of ship that you've got. So you can't use, you can't use another class of parts. With, you can't mix and match. I think you might be able to go down. Like you might, like if, if I'm, I have Class C flow reactor, and Class C grab drive, I, I think I can use B and A parts, maybe. I don't know. Somebody tell me in the comments if, I, if you can. I'm not sure. But anyway, so, uh, so anyway, I wanted windows, so I went ahead and I put portholes in. You can find portholes almost everywhere. Um, by the way, these landing gear, which have a four, lander thrust of four, which is the highest I've ever found, is at New Homestead on Titan. Okay? Uh, and otherwise, you're going to need a bunch of landing gear for this because it's super heavy. But if you have a thrust of four, you can go with fewer landing gear. If you, it says you need more landing gear, just get these. Trust me, it's going to be well worth your time. If you want a shorter ship, you want a, like a, a skinnier ship, you want a lot of weight, a lot of carry weight, you need these thrusters. They're really good. Uh, let's see. As far as, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the Red Mile. Okay, if you know where the Red Mile is, the Red Mile is where you get your shielded cargo. This is also where you get your multi-frequency scan jammer. And that's where I got those, okay? So you put the scan jammer on with a uh, with an equipment plate. And then these, these scan jammer, these, uh, these shielded cargos, they actually have to connect to one side. They don't connect to the other, which is why I have them reversed like this because there's no connector in the middle. So they have to connect to the side of something. So that's why they're connected this way. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what do we got? What else do I have here that I want to talk about? I mean, guns. So the weapons we have, I have the Obliterator 250 MEV Alpha Turrets. These things obliterate shields before I even render in. I jump in to do, say, a Crimson Fleet uh, target, a mission, and they've already taken their shields down by half. I swear to God, these guys do more work for me than anything else. Now, at first I had two sets of turrets, okay? But then I realized I, if, I, if I'm running up on an asteroid, I cannot destroy an asteroid with an automated turret because you can't fire them. So I switched out to the PB-175 Helion beams. Okay, these got a range of 3,000. By the way, these right here only have, these have a range of 3,250. So these automated uh, turrets will, will start hitting before I can even get in range with these, with these Helion beams. But these Helion beams, they, this is, does, these two do massive amounts of damage. So much so, I usually don't have time to target with my missile launchers. And I have one battery of the Adel Adel 290B missile launchers. All right, they have a range of 4,000, but I got to lock on first. So if I'm locked on, I know if these guys are reaching out, I know I can hit them with this. Not a problem. And this is just a finisher, really. Um, I've never run out of energy. I don't think I've ever run out of energy. When I, I went to the key, literally to test to see if I could kill the Crimson Fleet, like their whole fleet, and I did. Now, I had to use, now, don't get me wrong, I have the best shield uh, generator in the game, 
but I still, it's, they still took down my shields. But we're talking about 12 to 15 ships. So then speaking of the shield generator, I have the Assurance SG-1800 shield generator. Okay, it's got a max power of 12, shield max health of 1600 with a regenerate of 5%. Um, it is, um, it's not bad. It's fine. It's the best that I could get. Um, literally the best that money can buy. All of this is the best that money can buy for what I wanted. I wanted max cargo. And I, I do have my payload perk in the skill tree maxed out, which is why I can carry 20,000. If you can't carry 20,000 with this, uh, with this ship, then you, just, you haven't maxed out your stuff. I also have Sam Co on board and he gives a little payload, I think. One of my, one of my constellation members gives payload and that's important. If you can, and if you, if you don't have it, get by, you want to take them on, just go ahead and hire yourself somebody else that's got a payload perk and they'll give you a little bit more, a little bit more payload uh, to carry. So that's something to keep in mind. And if you have multiple payloads, I don't know if like one pip each equals two or if they just like, uh, they, they override each other or it's only one or the other. I don't know. You have to experiment with that. I only use one. I only use my constellation members, so I don't know. I'm going to be dealing with hired guns in my next season. So, and that's coming up tomorrow. Just so you know, if you want to watch the new season, uh, there'll be our, uh, between 45 minutes to hour long episodes. All right. So anyway, and the, the real goodies, the real goodies though, are right here. These ones are mission goodies that you get from the Crimson Fleet stuff. This is the comm spike and the uh, conduction uh, conduction grid. So when you go and you do either you go into if you go into uh, the UC Vanguard or you get arrested for um, contraband and you end up joining the Crimson Fleet, that quest line will give you the comm spike and the conduction grid. The comm spike gives you t and they're free. Gives you time to lock onto the enemy's ships is reduced by 25% and the weapons cost 20% less, less to use in targeting mode. And the conduction grid reduces EM uh, electromagnetic damage by 50% and increases shield re regeneration by 25%. So this shield regenera uh, regenerates at, 20, at 5% plus 25%, so it's 30%, plus whatever my perks are. If I have on shields on my perks, I don't even know. Um, hang on, let me jump out right quick. Let me see. So I think I've got that maxed out as well. So I've got payloads maxed out, which I mean, incre increases my cargo hold by 50%. So really, I would have 15,000. Yeah, 15,000, I think. Maybe less, 13,000, something like that. Whatever half of that tacked onto it that would equal 20. That's what that would, that would normally would be without these perks. Uh, anyway, so I think, um, yeah, shield systems... Uh, let's see, shield capacity, shield capacity, occasionally resist. Okay, so this is just shield capacity. This has nothing to do with regen. So I don't know if there's any regen in here. To be honest, somebody does. Somebody tell me in the comments section. But anyway, guys, that is how I took the Class A Frontier ship and turned it into a behemoth Class C warship that can haul a ton, like several metric tons of cargo. This is my favorite build so far. I'm going to modify this. I do think I do want, uh, in the next build, I want all that cargo down below. I'll have to figure that out. It's probably going to be on either side with the, do with, the, uh, with, the, uh, the, with the docking port, in, uh, not the docking port, the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the loading, the loading ramp in the middle. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But I'm, I, want the, I want that storage down below next time. So tell me what you come up with. Show me some screenshots on my Discord if you want. I'm really curious to see what you built. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, that's the build. Hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you'll, uh, you'll find some interesting uh, things that you can add to your own ship. Um, and yeah, I could, use some, I could use some cowling on that to make it pretty. But she's not bad looking. She just looks like a bulldog. So anyway, guys, I guess that'll do it. Hopefully it has helped you out. And if it did, give us a thumbs up. And if I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. As I always say, I am my usual me, be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. I don't mind watching or walk away.